your red-hot biopic of Mr. New Director. Oh, Check it out. <laughs> hey. Paul Hood? Oh, yeah. oh, he's a self-made man. An RV. Boring. Oh, built an auto parts factory from scratch in the Cleveland ghetto. Hey, a liberal. Neato. Hey, Bear, give me that. Oh, I'm unbelievable. Department of Defense flyer. Is that Al Davis spotted? <laughs> Ran the Newport Bermuda sailing race together last year. Came in third or was it fourth? I don't know. It says here he's going to work on downsizing the military. You say downsizing? Hey, guy beats swords into plowshares can't be all bad. No, you think Director Hood is going to help us transition into civilian life? If he touches this place, and make a hell of a video arcade. Oh. General, General, close circuit feed from the White House press room. Okay. Oh, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, President of the United States. Good morning. President Kennedy once remarked that the Chinese ideograph of crisis is formed by the characters for danger and opportunity. As we move into a new age of uncertainty, the National Crisis Management Center should play an increasingly important role in our nation's defense. Therefore, I'm delighted to announce the appointment of Paul Hood as director of the NCMC. Mr. NCMC has done nothing but studies and simulations ever since the Persian Gulf. Kate, the president's few... not taking any Excuse questions. Excuse me, Mr. President. Studies and simulations. What about the crime? What about education? Turn that damn thing Mr. off. President. Mr. President. What you doing? This is just getting good. Knock it off, Lowell. Unruly bunch on our fourth estate. Don't let them get your goat. Sir, I won't. Mr. President, Kate Michael swears if she doesn't get to five minutes Q&A, she'll light her hair on fire and burn the house down. For my money, she can burn down the Senate, too. <laughs> we have to humor Ms. Michaels. Uh, she and Mr. Bender have a special relationship. All right, Lou, tell your lady friend five minutes in the Oval Office. Good luck, Tom. We're counting on you. <laughs> He'll get your name right eventually. Troy, that is the most humiliating thing. That Sweetheart. I... Please. Well, if that's what you want, that's what I want. Well, I, I better run. Oh, Paul, don't forget the Jefferson Society Gala at the Swedish Embassy tonight. Yeah. Troy. That's a good girl, my boy. Thanks. She doesn't much like Washington. What's to like? Mr. President, Miss Michaels is here. She insists that she... Mr. President, the public has a right to know about Just a you. moment. No calls. So you're giving me five minutes, is that it? Well, unless you happen to be free after the gala. Could. Might be. Usual place.
Director Hood, Mike Rogers, Deputy Director, NCMC. General, Paul Hood. This is where it all happens. Let me introduce you around. Dan McCaskey, Paul Hood. Welcome aboard, Director. Dan's our FBI Interpol officer. And Deputy Assistant Director of the FBI. Heard a lot of fine things about you, sir. Thank you. Solid cop. Knows intel, terrorism. Good man to lean on. Martha Mackin, political economics officer. Hello, boss. Ms. Mackin. Marty. And Matt Stoll, operations support, our resident techno. Nice to meet you. How are you doing? I don't want a CIA estimate. I don't want a DIA estimate. I want it straight from INR. And I want to know that the seventh floor is sprinkled holy water on it. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Bob Hebert, national intelligence officer. Director. Looking forward to Sorry, sorry. Yes. Yes. Beirut Embassy bombing 83. His wife worked there as a translator. She wasn't so lucky. Oh, damn, find it and leave me out of it, okay? Liz Gorman, our long-suffering press and congressional liaison. Hi. How you doing? And I'm sure you guess Lowell Coffee is our lawyer. Formerly of Blue Blood, Old Boy, Darien, and White Bread. Director, call me Paul. Excuse us. Oh, please. Coffee is radio station WCDT. We can't do that. Trouble is sometimes he's right. Uh, Bill Matson. Huh? Science Environmental Officer. Oh, uh, hi, uh, Director. I was just... Don't uh, let us keep you. Uh, uh, thanks. No, I'm not buying it. I'm not... No way. Ma'am Bluestone? I, I, Our in-house MD psychiatrist, yeah. Paul Hood. Play with my body, not my mind, Leo. Carry on. No, I don't accept that the agent got the number wrong because he's dyslexic. Pam's our official mind reader in Good Witch of the East. Tell her how a man behaves. She'll tell you what he's thinking and what he's going to do next. Well, glad I don't have to blind date her. You and a lot of guys. So, what you think of Mr. Pinup, new director? <laughs> well, I do like a man with something to prove. Mm -hmm. Yes. There's our back door to the U.S. Intel establishment. Comms, satellite photos, imaging, estimates, everything we need. A Cold War monument without a mission. That why you're here? To shut us down? You don't mince words, do you? Simple is better. I'll be here for a while. I'll make a recommendation. Director, do you know anything about intelligence work? No. But I think you'll find I don't make the same mistake twice. Well. I suppose that I'll have to do. I never served in the military. Not every man's calling. I opposed the war in Vietnam. I marched. This is a free country, Mr. Hood. I like it that way. That's why I put this green suit on in the first place. And if you're wondering whether this crisis center will have a job to do in the new world order, don't. There's plenty of trouble out there. Some of it will find us. Amazing so much destruction can be packed into such a small container. The world will be a better place when these monstrosities are no more. Captain Drake? You late? Sorry, sir. Colonel Stalipin, may I present Captain Ted Drake? Captain, you have been delaying an event which will alter history as we know it. Lieutenant Tarkov, the Dr. Yes. Just. Vipolit Protocol Colonel, I believe you'll find this next procedure most interesting. Are you crazy? <laughs> Colonel Cochran, you must now consider yourself to be my prisoner. Oh, thank you for the field telephone. Your aid is carried. I think not, Colonel. You give him that, we're cut off. March it! I hope you will withdraw your objection, and extreme measures will not be necessary. The phone. Zostrelio. No! Ah! Now, if you'll follow Lieutenant Arkov, 
He'll show you to a place of safe confinement. Uh, take this hero with you. Detail. Do you copy? Where'd that be, Jump? What's the alarm? Don't know yet. NSA's monitoring a SATCOM signal at JCI. Maybe we got about 30 seconds. Bakers, please. This is burial detail. Priority one flash. Critical flash traffic for JCS. Three RVs have been stolen. There's been a mutiny by the KGB guards. They're loading the RVs up. Well? We've lost him. Oh, hey, there, where's that? Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm hey, there. Could be trouble. Static. What's burial detail? Right? Code named our start for observer units. Monitor Russians disarming their missiles. Can you put a pin in the spot where that call came from? There's Naya, the crane. Bring up Eastern Europe on screen one. Yeah, this is the Russians are. No way they're going to Okay, move over to Eastern Europe. No way. Okay, there's the Mediterranean. Is that there? Where Black Sea? Where? Show me place names. There is Naya. Brother. Missiles. Told you. Oh, no, I told you. No. no there is Naya. Soviet SS-19. Intercontinental ballistic. Missiles. Director yes. Line 6. SS-19 ICBM. Hey, sweetie! What time are you gonna get home and get changed? Uh, Jane, look, I can't talk to you right now. Why don't you catch a cab to the embassy? I'll catch up with you as soon as I'm done. But it's black tie! You don't have your tux! Director, National Security Advisor Line 2. I gotta go. Do you know anything? Troy. Paul. What in the hell is going on around here? Every phone line in this office, they're lit up like a slot machine. An observer team just reported an emergency at the ICBM complex at, at Darius Naya. The JCS is trying to reestablish contact. Good, you call me when you got something. Anything from NATO. Could be an exercise. Not without being notified. Practical joke. Oh, come on. Oh. I'm serious. Get a grip. Assessment. Hey, Barry. KGB mutiny? Well, maybe. In their nuke security force? Never. Always the first time. Exactly. Three SS-19 RVs? Bob, who's your contact? Maybe all they can handle. What, what are these RVs? Oh, hey, oh, just at ease. at ease. At ease. Max. 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 SS-19 RV specs? Coming up. The Soviet SS-19 is a two-stage liquid-fueled missile that can throw six independently targeted warheads over 6,000 miles and hit a target the size of a football stadium. As for the stolen warheads, we're talking three conical RVs, re-entry vehicles, four feet tall and 18 inches at the base, each carrying a 500 kiloton thermonuclear warhead with 25 times the punch of the Hiroshima bomb. City killers. 
So you're saying that a gang of thieves just walked Not in there? And Russian strategic rocket forces on the missiles. The KGB controls the warheads and the army coats. So what are you telling me? But it's not beyond the realm of possibility. These mutineers can arm the warheads and detonate them. Well, it's a good thing our people were there, otherwise you wouldn't know what happened. Excuse me, Director. The KGB knew we had observers in Derejnaya. If they didn't want our people to report, they'd have executed them. But why didn't they? So there'll be no question they've got the warheads when the showdown comes. And come it will. Soon. SOCOM commander holding on one. SOCOM commander's online, sir. SOCOM aboot. Wally, how'd your man come to be in Hell's Kitchen when this hit the fan? Uh, Captain Edward Ellis Drake is a uh, assistant S2 Special Forces Russia specialist working a normal mill-to-mill -mill rotation with OSEA. All right, when the Ukes release him, fly him straight to NCMC. And Mike, you get him debriefed. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, who in the hell could have pulled a stunt like this off? Uh, according to Drake, it was the KGB who were guarding the warheads. We were thinking that I the said... KGB guards were on the riff list, found out, and decided to cash in while they could. Well, Russia has the same reduction in force program. That we Where have. are they going with them warheads? That's what I want to know. Stoll? Nothing in the Darius and I area but backwoods country roads. Can't be making more than 25 miles per hour. Warheads are still somewhere within that 12 mile radius, sir. Where will they be in one hour? In two? In two hours and 10 minutes, they'd have reached the Odessa Kiev Highway. After which they could be headed anywhere on God's green earth. Now, if the youths want to recapture them RVs, what then? So they've got a blanket that area. Cut the access roads, block the highway. All in two hours. Uh, all right, I'll brief the president. You all keep me informed. Uh, one more thing. Are you in there, Lizzie? Uh, yes, sir. Lizzie, I want a total press blackout. I don't give a damn if the New York Times gives Diarrhea a banner headline a mile high. It never happened. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Good. Matt? When all else fails, disinformation to the rest of you. Shut up, Lowell. Okay, assumption. Ukrainians fail to recapture the RVs. I'd call that a safe assumption. All right, we got two hours. I need some options. Mac, motives. Only two motives for stealing nukes. Use them or sell them. No way they'd use them. What would they have to gain? What the question we've got to answer is, who's in the market for three 500 kiloton nuke RVs? Director, National Security Advisor, Line as well as 1. Well, might have something in there. Give me Good. Go. I'm briefing the president in 15 minutes. You'll be in my office when I'm through. On my way. Come on to the White House. I'll be back as soon as I can. OK, I better check the phone. I got dibs on his parking spot. What do you think that's about? Hasn't got the experience to handle this. Davis is going to bench him. Can it? Touchy. Accurate. 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 Who are these madmen? I don't know, sir. Maybe the KGB is guarding the place. Well, where are the stolen warheads now? I don't know that either, sir. 
You don't know a lot. It's all there in your file, Mr. President. I'll call State, tell them they're in charge. And CIA to handle the field work. Paul Hood's in charge, sir. Who? NCMC. You mean that new fella I introduced this morning? State doesn't have the tools. NCMC does. In other words, you're in charge. You might say that. Well, I thought you were shutting NCMC down. I don't know where you'd get an idea like that. Mr. President? OK, Troy. NCMC's in charge. Very well, sir. I'll keep you posted. Report. The Ukrainians are mobilizing. We'll know in an hour if they recapture the warheads. Oh. When will we hear from the Russians? Oh, the Russian ambassador has already been here and gone. Paul. And? Well, you know how them Russians are. Once them RVs were snatched, they're out of Russian control. They look after their own border, nothing else. Anything after that's our problem. Our problem? Troy, Russian warheads were stolen. Oh, they're just needling us for treating the Ukraines like an independent nuclear power. I mean, they're not independent? I didn't invent this world, son. I just live in it. Well, if the Ukrainians capture the warheads, then we'll... Don't count on the Ukes for anything. Sit down. Sit down. You're making me nervous. The president approved you as point man on this project. Good. Not good. You're in way over your head, Paul. I know that. But what are you, what are you telling me I'm out? No. Nope. Not unless you want out. No way. Look, Troy, I want the Russians in on this. Russian warheads stolen by their own people. They got much now, more at stake than we... I'll tell you one thing. Them KGBs slipped them nukes out of the Ukraine. You'll be heading up a one-man needle in the haystack hunt all by yourself. All right. Will you ask the Russians to cooperate? And you won't just be fighting the bad guy. The home team's going to give you all the trouble you can handle. Like who? They could be over there right now, betting I've already fired you, planning your own farewell bash. Any more dumb questions? Yeah. Yeah. If I go up against the wall on this one, can I count on you? Paul, you're watching too many old-time movies. Admirals don't go down with the ship anymore. Incident. Code name? Good. The Op Center. Op Center. And for those of you who are betting I'm out, it's time to pay up. I'm staying. Uh, Director, National right. Security Advisor, Line 2. Troy, I got you on speakerphone. They're flying in a point man from their embassy in Ottawa. He's probably some young foreign ministry hotshot. His name is uh, Baroda. He'll be at your house at 10 o'clock. You call me after you talk. Done. I hear we're working with the Russians. You heard. I'd like to have you there when I meet their point man. Sure. Uh, mind telling me why? I hear you got a sixth sense for reading people. Oh, maybe I'll get the young punk's testosterone pumping and he'll let a lip slip? Uh, Director, this is Agent Lee Nelson. He'll set up visual surveillance at your house. ID the Russian, have him followed. Standard procedure. The guy's name is Barodi. He's from their embassy in uh, Ottawa. He, he... Director, hasn't it occurred to you that just maybe the Russians staged that show in Derezhnaya so they could sell their nukes to the highest bidder?
I'll just be a minute. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Can we get a wave, sir? Great. You made it. Your tux is in the garbage bag in the check room. Right there, yeah. I can't stay. Thank you, sir. Sir, can you look this way? Friend of yours? Uh, Mr. President, you remember Paul Hood. Great to see you again. Sir. Husband. Oh. Oh, uh, I hope you don't mind if I borrow your wife for the evening mines in New York, opening a museum, or is it closing a museum? <laughs> sir, come over here, please. Come on, sir. Thank you, sir. Well, uh... Thank you. I'm sorry I won't be able to stay. Yeah, here, I've got a, uh, I'm sure you have important things to do. Don't worry, we'll uh, entertain your lady. Sorry. See you at home. One more. Stay with her, stay with her. Go ahead. Pamela Bluestone, and I ate Director Hood. How do you do? Come in. Uh, you can dismiss your interpreter because I speak uh, English. No? Uh, actually, she's. Uh, it's all right. I'll, I'll get the drinks. What would you like? Uh, the Bourbon Sky. Huh? May I sit? Oh, sure, sure. First, I'd like to express the embarrassment and the concern of my government, you know. Well, thank you, but I think practice the Nastrovi. Look. Mm. Ah, now the leader of the criminals is a man called uh, Stolipin, Yuri, Yuri Stolipin. You know, I have his uh, files. In Russia, no? <laughs> school. Does that answer your question? You been at this long? Mm. Ten years, give or take. Worth it? Well, that depends on how you reckon profit and loss. How do you reckon it? Total cost? One marriage? Lifetime of friendships down the drain? Caffeine addiction? And the... Occasional sleeping pill. So, what do you got to show for all that? Sorry. It's classified. Well, at least you've made your peace. Haven't I? Don't you know it's not nice to keep a lady waiting? That lingerie. Now, don't tell me. The summit conference. Paris, last July. <laughs> <laughs> Outstanding. Well, well mm. I've got a slip out of this monkey suit. Oh. Where do you suppose Bender sleeps when we're here? Out, I guess. You know, I think young Lou leads something of a secret life. Did you bring home any of those little dinner mints? I think I left some on the table.
маршу! Это инспекция! Да, я с тобой там наверху! Остановитесь! Пусть идут, не показывай виду. Заверьте здесь все! Эй, ты наверху! Принеси мне документы! Чего вы пили еще, друг? Твое дело. Килограмм за стричника украли, а? Что? Нечего больше делать. Что же это тоже? Оно из Чернобыля. Что-то дурно, какая она из Конечно. Ты что, читать не радиации, а? Друзья, давайте, пошли отсюда. Эй, мужики, давайте, давайте, сваливайте, сваливайте. Куда же? Останьтесь, водочки выпьем, у нас есть. Пошлёт! Алло, свое, что такого не было. Я, до свидания. Давай, пошли, пошли. Давайте, сводки. So, what's the latest? Hey. I saw it. Drake? Uh, any minute. McCaskey's in the video bay. Your pictures are ready. Okay. Uh, stop there. Freeze. Zoom. Your beard is no boy chick. That's a bad habit. Rudy Kushnerov, deputy head of the first chief directorate in under Gorby. Used to run their overseas espionage jobs. Very tough. Very pro. An old believer. They must have dragged him out of retirement. Why? Because they had to have somebody they could trust absolutely. Ironic. Yeah. So what are you telling me? Looks like you were right to bring in the Russians. General Rogers, visitor in the comm center. Drake. This plan to the last detail. Trucks here and here over here, ready to roll. Preposition charges here and here. Take out the comm tower, comm lines in the tower. Casualties. Eight you guards dead. A couple dozen wounded. Did you see or, or hear anything that might have suggested where they were headed with the warheads? No, ma'am. Trucks. Any special equipment or anything? No, well, sir. There was mud. Uh, that's why I was late. Mud. Been raining off and on in the Ukraine last six weeks. Bogged down to their axles and three last no so We could be going by boat or barge. Really? Down the Dniester. Mr. Rogers in the Ukraine. Dniester's No way. South of Darishnaya. The Yuzhny Bug River. It's gotta be. Odessa Bay. New deep water port. Or Nikolaev. But either way, both of them lead to the... The Black Sea. Got him! No, we don't have him. For the first time, we may be gaining him. The KGBs are moving those warheads by boat. We're going to need Russian help to monitor river traffic into Odessa and Nikolaev. Like what? A couple of KGB Grisha 3 frigates would do. You mean KGB has its own navy? Own navy with the best detection gear and the wallop to stop anything trying to run for it. Count it if you wish. No need. If you shortchange me, I'll find another buyer. <laughs> and the other three million? Not until you reach Istanbul. Then the balance on delivery, as agreed. Well, I have a plane to catch. And one more thing. What's this? If anything untoward should befall, a radio phone call to that number. Don't worry. I'll see you in New York on Sunday night. I will expect you. Yasmin, see our guest to the door. Of course. This way, please. Got through to Baroda, Kushnerov. And? No shortage of Grishas. In fact, there's one in Nikolaev right now and another one on its way from Ochakov to Odessa. ETA? Three hours. My beard's pushing all the right buttons. 
Director, National Security Advisor, line three. Good. In the tank, Paul. Right now. With Rogers and A Bear. What happened? Got a call this morning from the Israeli embassy. They insist on a meeting regarding the security situation on the Jordan Jericho border, if you could believe. Troy, I'm a little preoccupied. Well, it wouldn't do good to put them off. Don't let them know how busy you are. I think their man's name is Verkoff. You watch your step. You know, last I heard, the Israelis were our allies. Well, they are. Whenever it suits their national interest. So how am I going to recognize this guy, Verkoff? <laughs> I think he'd probably recognize you, you, you being so photogenic and all. You know, I have to be frank with you. Two days on the job, I'm not exactly up to speed on Jordanian border policy. So you're better informed about the Ukraine? Oh, Excuse yeah. me? Um, let me be frank. My government is aware of the theft of nuclear warheads from the Rishnaya. Well, that's news to me. What we want to know is what your government is prepared to do about it. Mr. Hood, you're an amateur playing a very dangerous game. Our nuclear capability is the balance of power in the Middle East. Your government doesn't want that balance upset any more than we do. A fool can see those weapons were stolen by KGB for sale to a third party. If that party is Iran, those weapons were bought for Hezbollah, for Hamas. What? The United States is not prepared to take every step to recover the warheads. We are. Don't do anything you'll regret. Before the week is over, we may both do much we will regret. You know where to find me? Shalom. You know, behind the glad hand and the wire rim glasses is one tough little SOB. Uh, probably Mossad, Secret Service. The ones who look like Mr. Peepers are usually the stone killers. How can the Israelis know about Darish Naya? How can they know that Op Center is taking point? Only one way. There's a leak in somebody's chain of command. Ha! Ah! 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 Talk about hostile. How's your new director? It's too early to call. My editor wants to do a feature piece on him. Huh? Kind of a typical day at NCMC, you know. Huh? Explaining the great unwashed where their tax billions are going. Oh, well, maybe down the line. Let the guy get his feet on the ground first. Anyhow, we aren't doing anything but studies and sims. That's not what I heard. I'm talking about a place called Derznaya. Something I said? Where'd you get that name? Around, people are talking. Which people? A good reporter never reveals her source. How would you know? Uh, I gotta get back to the office. Have a nice day. Beard called. Odessa Grisha's on station. Nikolai of Grisha reports no sign of RBs. And making it to sea will stop any suspicious vessels plus any we designate. Good. Now, Director, follow me, head to... Speak with you. Sure. How well do you know this Kate Michaels? Not well enough to know she wasn't bluffing. I mean, we just got the same thing from the Israelis. What the hell's going on here? They could be leaking from uh, a lot of places. The Ukrainians, Russians. Hello, talk with Mr. Bender. <laughs> no, Mr. Bender is not smart enough. Or dumb enough. Could be leaking from right in here. No, sir. Not here. Director, line two. Personal. Jane, I can't talk right now. I'm gonna Daddy, have. Daddy, when are you coming home? Oh, hi, sweetheart. Um, I'll be a little late tonight. Can I talk to Mom? Um, she went out. 
account. Got all dressed up and everything. Oh. All right, well, uh, have Maureen make dinner for you and Beth, and I'll come home and talk to you. Okay. All right, where were we? down at Chancellorville, and then the McGuire's, and I'm not explaining myself to you. Jane. Jane. Oh. Jane, don't walk away from me when I'm talking. Maureen? Can you excuse us for a minute, please? Uh, yeah, yes, sir. Paul, well, everyone in the house doesn't need to know we're having a disagreement. This is not a disagreement. We're having a problem, Jane. I've been thinking maybe we ought to get a little counseling. I asked for that three years ago. You couldn't find time. This is different. Jane. Oh, I see. This time it's different because I'm the problem. I'm not saying that. I'm saying we are the problem. Paul, I'm not having a problem. I'm having a life. Now, Troy Davis gives you some do-nothing job. You turn it into the most important thing in the world. Jane, stop it. But the moment I have a little independence and growth, you say, Jane, stop it. <sighs> What's the point? Go on, take your run. You're going to be late for oh, work. Come on, Jane. God, why is everything more important to you than we are? Jane, Don't you touch Jane. me. <clears throat> maybe something, maybe not. You know, that Grisha that sailed down into the Black Sea? Sergeant King, could you pull up the map you already marked, please? Coming up, sir. Okay, here's Nikolaev, where she was originally birthed, the head of the Prague River estuary. Now, here, the National Highway Bridge crosses over the river right at Mikolaev. See how sharply the river bends to the east right here, just below that? So? Any sailor worth his salt knows that this is the choke point. Choke point? He's right. You park that Grisha midstream right there and turn off river traffic there like you turned off a tap. So if that Grisha captain had really wanted to close that river down... He would have sailed north from Nikolaev up to this point, not south, downstream to the Black Sea. Either this Grisha skipper's no seaman or... Or he's one of the bad guys. And the RVs are on board, his ship. I say we check it out. Yeah, Lee, what do you got? Yesterday's tape from Georgetown. I stayed about an hour, split before the housekeeper came back. Use your imagination. Fast forward to 11.15. Stop there. Play. Freeze it. Print that. Catch a license plate. Got it. Run it, let me know, and I go on, get out of here. Attention, Kmart shoppers. What do you got? Maybe a break. According to NRO, Nikolai of Greece is challenging ships left and right. Pull up the Greece stop index. Yes, sir. Okay. The Karamaru is a manganese ore carrier out of Yokohama. Odalisk and Elsinore are French and Danish merchantmen. But this Corcovado is a chorus of a different holler. How so? Well, for one, she's out of Kirsten, not Nikolaev. That Greece is supposed to be stopping ships coming down from Nikolaev, not Kirsten. For another, she's owned by the Bellum International Sugar Corporation. Get a line on them. 
You might have been right about that grease in the choke point. Where are they bound for Stoll? NRO's got a good track. She's making 12 knots on course for the Bosporus. All right. Uh, let's have them designate her target Alpha. Normal terrorist transshipment points are Greece, Cyprus, Malta, Algeria. None of the above. According to her manifest, her next port of call is Mombasa, Kenya. East Africa? That means Alpha's got a trance at the Suez Canal. And could put in at Egypt, Sudan, Ethiopia, Yemen. Assessment. A lot of folks down Suez Way pay a lot of money for the bomb. Right. Sergeant, get out of old Davis' teleconference. Right. He's going to the tank, everybody. Got a possible fix on the stolen RVs. The Grishas had pulled out of Nikolaev. Yeah, what about her? Stopped a freighter out of Kyrgyzstan. And then what? She's our alpha target. We need presidential authorization to board her when she gets to the central Mediterranean. You know, maybe I'm a little dim this morning. But I don't see where you have any reason to suspect this freighter other than a gracious skipper that may not know his job. Uh, sir, the CIA says that Alpha's actually owned by a KGB front company. Oh, well, so what? They own three they... hotels in Atlanta. That's no big I know, deal, but... and it's sure not enough to go on. But how do you how do you explain the two ships rendezvousing? Maybe they're out there trading dirty movies. If you gentlemen want to board somebody else's ship in the middle of the ocean, you're going to have to give me proof positive those RVs are aboard, and then some. Would you accept a neutron scan as positive proof? I sure would. Under the circumstances, Mike, I guess I'd have to. Max, see if you can track down a scan. Now call me back What's when that? you got a plan. All right, bring me up to speed on the neutron scan. Okay. We sweep the hull of the freighter with a neutron source. If the sensor detects a gamma backscatter, chances are 99% there's a nuke aboard. It worked in 73 when we caught the Russians trying to slip a nuke to their allies in Egypt. Air Force has a scanner in um, Wright-Patterson. You're going to try and scan a ship in the open seas? We won't have to. Bring that map up to the Black Sea. Right. All right, the only way out of this pond... Through the Bosphorus. Zoom in, please. Channel next down to 600 yards across in some spots. Yeah, but there's two lanes of shipping. They're always jammed. It slows down to four or five knots. What if we installed a scanner in a cabin cruiser? How big's a scanner? Not that big. Weighs like hell. 40 footer do the job. Well, she slides right along the side of the freighter. And voila. Where are we going to get a 40 foot cabin cruiser? Buy one. Call Wright Patterson. Have him fly that scanner in here pronto and notify Slurflant we're going to need a crew for the cruiser. Buy a cabin cruiser in Turkey on one day's notice. John, it's still buy one here and fly it over. Won't have to buy it. Justice probably has a half dozen confiscated from drug dealers. We're going to get a C5 to be on the safe side. How long does it take to install that thing? Uh, yeah. Give it enough hands, 10, 12 hours. That's perfect. Yeah, you just stick yeah. the boat, the scanner, and the install crew on the C5. By the time they land in Istanbul, they've got it together. One C5 fuel crewed and on the Andrews pad in 90 minutes. When's Alpha doing the boss for us? 5 p.m. local time tomorrow. 0935 now. Figure we'll have the C5 loaded and wheels up by 1400. That puts Matt on the ground in Istanbul tomorrow at noon. They launch at Yedakul, steer north into the Straits, and... And intercept Alpha here, off Sarajevo. All right, let's do it. Get Admiral Davis on the phone, please. Coming up. Mission designation, Ooh. touchstone. Thank you. Scanner's here at 1 o'clock. Ah, oh, that's cutting it off and close. Admiral Davis, line 2. Troy, you're on speakerphone. I'm here. What do you got? We're intercepting and scanning Alpha tomorrow when she goes through the Bosphorus. If we get a positive reading, I'm going to be asking for presidential authorization to board her and recapture the warheads. Sounds right. All right. We're going to have Excuse to... me, folks. One not so minor detail. Oh, no. What now? Permission from the Turks, which I guarantee will not be forthcoming. Boss versus Turkish territory. Right. Troy, you think you can get the Turks to give us an okay? <laughs> well, I can try. But listen, nobody get ahead of me on this thing. I'm a long, long way from asking for presidential authorization. You understand that? Understood. Yeah. Maggie. Sir? Call General Yazici at the Turkish Embassy. Tell him to stand by for a fax. And Maggie, bring your book and come on in here. Yes, sir. White House Signals Office. Signals? Where is the president right now? Attaché. He's having brunch with the Danish cultural attaché? Yes, sir, that's correct, at Mr. Bender's house. Thank you, Signals. You're welcome, sir. Damn it, what now? Mr. President, we may have a line on the uh, stolen warheads. That's great, Troy. 
Hold on a minute while I get to another phone. Go ahead, Troy. I see. Yeah, I see. Right. So what are our options? Captain Tio Rodriguez, leader of Drake's old special forces unit from 10th Group. Captain? Yes, sir. The captain's team is fondly named Linebacker. Because when the good guys have to make a goal line stand. Uh. All right, well, I uh, guess you and your men have your work cut out for you. Good luck. Been on the horn to our pole at in Ankara. Touchstone cover story is you're delivering a cabin cruiser for an ambassador's official use, and you have to take it on a shakedown run. Well, what's the cover for the neutron scanner? New kind of air conditioner? Come on, you have diplomatic immunity. No one will look inside the boats. Lee, I read that license plate. Man, Mrs. Hood's keeping company with a real piece of work. Tell me, Quinn Redmond, Philadelphia mainline, Silver Spoon baby, now a big time lawyer, partnered with two former secretaries of state. Corporate law? Corporate, family, criminal, anything gets him a high profile in the headline. And he's got a rep as a lady killer. Brother. Davis, word from the Turks, line six. Hmm. Troy! Gazici called. Anchor okayed your whole ball of wax. Landing rights, transports, everything. Oh. Yes. What? No. Yes. yes! Call the flight line, have touchstone start engines, and tell Matt good, honey. How'd you lay it out for the Turks? A radical Mideast faction, you know, preventing technology transfer, general sort of thing. Ms. Gorman, Catherine Michaels to speak with you. I'll call her back. She's not on the phone, she's at reception. Come on, don't try to stonewall me on this thing. I know there was an incident in the Ukraine. I know that nuclear warheads have been stolen. And I know that NCMC is tracking a ship. Told you. No comment. Oh, we are a long way past no comment. I'm not going to sit on this thing and get scooped by some stringer from the Pismire Bailey News who happens to be sleeping with a White House usher. Look, I came all the way down here so I don't write anything that might embarrass you out of a job. What do you want? A deal. I'm listening. Get me inside. A seat at the table while this nuclear chase is going on. When you mark it, case closed. I write it exclusive for the AP wire. No comment and no deal. I'm trying to give you a break on this. You know, for friendship's sake. <laughs> I never mistook you for a friend. No way. No way in hell the Turks would let us run an operation from their territory without knowing our objective. Excuse me, surely you heard Davis say. Come on, the Martha, were... we could be staging the assassination of Yasser Arafat. So what made the Turks no. roll over? No. Israelis? The Israelis have been sharing intel with the Turks since 52. Oh, oh, come on, Bob. Where do you think the warheads are going? Silver Spring? The Israelis know as well as we do that the most likely buyer is their enemy, and, and, most and the most likely enemy. target is Israel. Simmer down. Simmer down. Simmer down. Mac, what do you think? Israelis could be the wild card. Look, whatever made up the Turks' minds, there's a five-hour window for the neutron scan. Once Alpha makes it into the Med, the rest of this is academic. Well, get this. Oh, no. What now? Kate Michaels knows we're tracking a ship that may be carrying stolen nuclear Are weapons. What? Oh. How does this woman get her information? We gotta plug that leak. Otherwise, if linebacker moves against the freighter, they could be walking into a death trap. Oh, All right, quiet down. This is crazy. Oh, quiet down. Please. Quiet! Ideas. Come on, anybody? Anybody? We have Kate Michaels arrested. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> <laughs> 
Huh? Oh, the FBI picks her up on the Espionage Act. Oh, no, thank you. Puts her out of business for 48 hours. Are you crazy, for God's sake? Arrest a reporter? No, no I'm not saying prosecutor. All I'm saying is take her off the street, get her off the phones. For... Now, wait a minute. No. What, is this your idea? Rule of law? No, no, it's, it's legal. Honest. Oh, no, it isn't. Come on, Lowell, you know that. Director, you, you haven't a clue about the stakes we're dealing with here, do you? Apparently, I do. And better than you. Oh, you just forgot that a lot of guys just got shot up in the Ukraine. Or that linebacker may do even worse when, when they board Alpha. That's combat. That's different. Low. Yeah, well, I'm not sure the dead appreciate the fine distinctions. You know, you really surprised me, Lowell. For a guy who knows so much about the law, you have a really twisted sense of right and wrong. Right and wrong? Right and wrong? Listen, Mr. Political Appointee, holier than thou director. Government is not about right and wrong. Government is about power. The United States of America is about power. Since 1776, we've been saying, don't tread on me. Why? For one reason. Because when somebody does, bang, they get a bloody nose and a one-way ticket to a war crimes trial. Am I wrong? Oh, please, somebody tell me I'm wrong. Good grief. You're not wrong, Lowell. You're just out of line. Way out. Are you finished? Yeah, I'm finished. Good. The subject is closed. No, it isn't. Phil, show the director what happens if the warheads reach Israel. Um, oh, hey, so low got a little out of line. Show him. Show him what happens if we fail. Global 94, Gideon variation. Gideon? Biblical general who defeated the Midianites. When I blow with the trumpet, say the sword of the Lord and Gideon. Ready with film, sir. <clears throat> Room lights. Gideon's scenario assumes radicals transport a medium-yield special weapon to an Israeli population center, say Tel Aviv and detonate it. Israelis retaliate. Strike Damascus. Amman. Baghdad. Cairo. The Arab world responds. Syrian armor on the Golan. Egyptian in the Sinai, their bombers blanket Israeli cities with biological and chemical weapons. After that, havoc. Three days later, Arab and Israeli ground forces fight to a stalemate again. History books record four million civilians die. But not one inch of land in the Mideast changes hands. For five years, a plague of new cancer cases spreads downwind to dozens of countries, including our own. Those are the stakes we're playing for here, Director. Eleven photo coming in from NRO. On the screen, get the director. Uh -oh. no, don't like the sound of that. Don't like this at all. What is this I hear about KH eleven photo? Surveillance satellite. I'll be damned. It looks like Haifa. Oh, call me a pessimist. Home port, Israeli Navy. You're a pessimist. Okay, listen up. See these holes? These are SAR five frigates the fastest boats the Israelis have. Sar-5 profiles. Eight harpoon surface to surface, 64 barrack surface to air missiles. Built in Pascagoula, Mississippi. General, check the dockside. 
Missile transport? Gotta be. Whole squadron together. Prepping for heavy duty. I think I'll cancel my yoga class. Could they be getting ready to intercept Alpha? I mean, how the hell? Liz. Uh, yes, sir. Kate Michaels have any connection with the Israelis? She have a report from Israel. Married to an Israeli? Uh, no, none of the above. She a Jew? Her real name's Michelotis, Greek. Well, that's not... Jump to conclusions. There's no proof that Kate Michaels... Well, how were they getting the info? The National Enquirer? I don't know, Lord, but I do love a mystery. Excuse me, sir. We try to board Alpha, and those frigates interfere. What can we do about that? Tax up Baltimore's in the area. Three Mark 48 torpedoes, three Sarvis on the bottom. Wait, wait, excuse me, somebody mentioned the word torpedo? Run out, Lowell. Yeah, maybe I'd better. Left my Harakiri dagger in my dresser drawer. Easy, Lowell. Uh, well, what if the Israelis sent out a squadron of fighters to protect the frigates? Sergeant, display assets in the med. Yes, sir. All right, we've got two carriers, Kennedy, Eisenhower. Aegis cruisers, Gettysburg, Ticonderoga, six destroyers, and frigates. God. Nobody flies the med unless we ask them to. Guys. Nobody. Let's, let's not start the John Wayne stuff here. We're not going to sink three Israeli warships, and you know it. I know it, Lowell. But we don't want the Israelis to be so sure, Capiche. Oh. Oh. That's it, corrected. Give me a fix on Alpha. Steaming towards the Bosporus. Matt and touchdown? Over the Mid Atlantic. If all goes well, he'll intercept Alpha for the neutron scan around 11 our time tomorrow. How's it going in here? Need a damn shoehorn. We'll make her happen, yes. sir. Satellite links comes online, sir. You know, I could get used to being caught, sir. Figured you ought to see this. More surveillance tape from the hood place. What? Uh... That is it. Housekeeper heads to the market. And no sooner does she turn the corner than the heartthrob shows. See, for yourself, it was expected. Let me fast forward to 11.05. And freeze that. Now, ain't that a lovely picture? <sighs> Better pull a print. Already did. Let us have in the room. Mm -hmm. Can you show that to Hood? Pam, I don't have any choice. Somebody's got to tell Davis. Davis? Regulations. Any personal problem likely to compromise God, performance Matt, come must on. be reported to the supervisor in a timely fashion. What makes you think that's going to compromise his performance? What kind of pressure the man's under? And then he finds out his wife is... What? You, you don't know she's having an affair? Pam, don't let emotion get the better of your judgment. This here is already compromising your performance. Minute for me? Yeah, sure. Come on in. Need a little help with an ID. Familiar? Uh, nope. Photographed him going into your house. My house? Three days running, right after the housekeeper goes out. <laughs> Name's Quinn Redmond, high powered lawyer, kind of a. Playboy, you know, ladies, man. Never stays long. Always gone when the housekeeper gets home. Well, <clears throat> figured you might want to check it out. Yeah, thanks. Uh, check it out.
can I help you, sir? A friend of mine in the Saudi legation tells me that you specialize in Tangut manuscripts. Hmm. So we do. Signal from Istanbul. Touchstone's landed. I'll be there as soon as I can. I'll speak with you a minute. Sure. <sighs> Just realized we may have a trump card on the Israelis. Hey. Israelis may know we're tracking a ship may even know she's designated Target Alpha. But there's no way in hell that they know the ship's name. So, if we cut Kate Michaels off from her source... We leave the Israelis in the dark. Now, the only problem is... We don't know where to cut. Oh, this is a private seance, or can anybody pull up an orange crate? What's that? Either the best or worst piece of photo analysis in the history of counterintelligence. What do you see? Somebody's out of uniform. No offense. <laughs> None taken. President cuddling up to someone else's wife. And that jerk, uh, Lou Bender, in a rented tuxedo. All right, right. Look, look at Kate Michaels. The way she's got her hands all over Bender and the way she's glaring at your wife. Jealousy. What the hell are you working up to, Pam? Look, everybody in Washington thinks that Kate Michaels and Lou Bender are having an affair, right? It's one of the press corps' sacred cows. But what this picture shows is that this one... Bender. ...is carrying this one... Yeah. Kate Michaels. ...around for this one. President? She knew about Darius Naya. She knew about the freighter. Five will get you 50. Kate Michaels is the second lady of the United States. Possible? It's too stupid not to be. Suppose uh, you're right. What we do about it? Well, I, I think it's obvious what we do. The question is how. Oh, the question is, do we dare? Good. All right, we got Davis at 9. I'm going to run by the house and get cleaned up. Okay. Say we meet, 845 Westgate. Done. Oh, boy, we're cutting it close. Uh, you know, if this works, Kate Michaels is going to go absolutely ballistic. Don't worry. In 48 hours, we're either going to have these nukes under control or... What? We're all going to be on the unemployment line because the Mideast is toast. Hey, Paul. Good luck. Thanks. Tony, I, I don't mind split commissions. Just let me make the sale. Oh, let me call you back. Oh, I didn't hear you come in. You just missed the girls. Sorry, I had a really early I'm meeting. I'm showing this the Gucci estate at 10, and would you believe Mrs. Senator Trent at Ma Maison for lunch? Oh, don't forget, Swan Lake tonight, 7.30. Jane, I can't. I got a crisis at the uh, Only room. my husband would turn a garage sale into a crisis. OK? I'll bite. What's so important? It's classified. <laughs> Jane, we have to have a serious talk. Tomorrow. No, now. I want you to tell me what's missing from our map. What? Well, I'm dashing out to a showing and my day is piling Jane, up. Jane, what is it? What is missing? By category or quantity. Come on, don't make a joke out of it. OK. OK, let's talk about love. 
Jane, I love you more. I'm talking anything. about physical love. Paul, we've always been friends. Level with me. Did you meet someone? <laughs> me? Paul, I know you. I've been married to you for 11 years. I've borne you two children. I'm not imagining things. I'm not hallucinating. I'm not premenstrual. On, I am not you. what is wrong with this marriage. Meaning I am? Come on, sweetheart, look at yourself. When we married, we had nothing. You worked day and night to build a company. Fine. You made out, you sold up, you wanted to do public service. Okay. Goodbye, Cleveland. Hello, God and country. But do you really have to turn every make-work job Troy Davis hands you into some do-or-die high wire? Jane, what I am doing is important. It always is. Look, Paul, you gotta be fair. We have lived in D.C. for three years. We don't have a single friend. We never talk about anything but the kids. Everything is classified or secret or honey, I can't say. Now, what kind of life is that for me and the girls? No, Jane, don't, oh. don't, don't come running back when you got five minutes to spare, huh? Like you can solve every problem in the world with some damn five-minute meeting. Israeli frigates, harpoon missiles, a submarine. Mike, I've been to two world's fairs. Owned a Nehru jacket, even heard P. Isadora sing. This the dumbest plan I ever saw in my life. We estimate life. the target is the Israeli nuclear warhead depot at Beersheba. How the hell would you know that, Paul? I'm betting my job, Troy. We're all betting our jobs, Admiral. You're asking me to buck this up to your commander-in-chief? Yes, sir. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. I wouldn't even consider Mr. President, this. we won't board the freighter unless we have positive proof from the neutron scan that the warheads are on board. What about the Israeli frigates? Oh, if they try anything, the Baltimore will put them right on the bottom of the ocean. Mr. President, Well, I... how can you be sure that the Air Shiva is the target? Well, that's the only part that makes sense. Radicals detonate three warheads at Air Shiva. They could wipe out the entire Israeli nuclear arsenal. Good God. Clever, aren't they? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, they are. All right, Troy. If, and the operative word is if, if your neutron scan is positive, your team is authorized to take whatever steps necessary to recapture the RVs. Thank you, Mr. President. equipment how does it work well first of all we power up and the scanner belts a shower of neutrons through our hull into the other guy's hold any plutonium gets hit it'll flash gamma rays back to here we get a backscatter pattern on this monitor here I see, I see. into the Black Sea. Don't worry, we find her. Maybe she stopped to pick up a passenger. Or dock. We've sure passed a lot of docks. Wait, there! There, at the end of the line! I'm downstairs. Are you ready, ma'am? Yes, yeah, ready. Single officer, batter up. Figure we got this baby wired right? Well, no, shut it up. 
director of video feed from Touchstone. On the screen. What, are we getting cable now? Is that what we know about this? Diversionary tactics? Why does Matt always get to do these missions? <laughs> Here we go. Matt's making his run. Anything? Negative! Can you get any closer? Die. That's him. That's him. Still yipping. Damn it, those missiles have got to be on board. Come on, do it. Go. Yes. 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 Look at that. Look at oh, that. Oh, I can't believe it. Fantastic. Sergeant King, signal touchstone. Great job. Yes, sir. Get home on the double. Director McCaskey, line two. Yeah. She's out. Stop the microphone call. Put a trace on it? Telco security's back checking now. All right, come on in. Director, your wife on line four says it's urgent. Jane, look. You were right, we need to talk. <sighs> Jane, I'm right in the middle of a major. Paul, you started this, don't put me off. Sweetheart, believe me, if there was any way I could. Jane. Excuse me, director, the feed. Beersheba. Tell me. Yes, sir. What we're seeing here is an armored brigade which has just roadblocked all the highways in and out of Beersheba, here, here, here. Down here and here, and it appears a second column is headed toward their nuke locker. Pentagon reports Israeli Air Force scrambles at every base from Akko to Eli. They fell for it. Paul, didn't Maggie tell you I was in a cabinet meeting? What the hell's so important here? 25 minutes ago, an armored column set up positions around the Israeli nuclear weapons depot at Beersheba. Their Air Force also went on alert. How the hell do you know what's going on in Beersheba? Before I came to see you, we ordered up a Joint Stars out of Rio. We, 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 who is we? Who you keep talking about? We. Us. The team. Now you're telling me, uh, just exactly what are you telling me? There's only one explanation, Troy. Someone close to the president leaked word to the Israelis that Beersheba was the target for the stolen warheads. You're crazy. Who would do a thing like that? Kate Michaels. Sir, she knew about Darish and I. She knew we were tracking a freighter. She went into the White House at 10.05. She came out at 12. Four minutes later, she called the Israeli embassy. And 10 minutes later, Israeli armor was on the move. You're all crazy. That's it. So the big Wait, yarn about the uh, Israeli embassy being a nuclear target, what's that all about? It was a red herring. And then you lied to the president. Let's not put too fine a point on this, Troy. We did what we had to do. Now, I didn't ask for this job. Everybody in this room knows you sent me over here to shut the place down. But I'll be damned before I let my children grow up under the cloud of nuclear blackmail. 
Now, we found your needle in the haystack. We've got our target. But we're not going to move until we know that Kate Michaels' line to the president has been cut. Now, are you with us or not? Come on, Troy, the clock is ticking. General Rogers? Yes, sir. Let me see a plan for attacking that freighter. Yes, sir. I'll take care of Ms. Michaels myself. Now, as for the rest of you, it's well done. Congratulations. I did it. I thought I pulled the plug, I swear. Can I see you outside for a minute? Your wife's at reception. What? I, I told her you were in an urgent meeting. Thanks. Uh, and Paul, she's got an airport cab waiting with three suitcases in the front seat. I'm sorry that woman told me that you were in an important meeting. What the hell was that? What are you doing with suitcases? Uh, here? I'm going away for a few days. Going where? I need some time to think about us. Oh. What did you tell the girls? I told them that I had to take a trip. Maureen can look after them. There's no problem. They have a... Is he going with you? Who? Don't lie to me, Jane. I know all about him. Quinn Redmond. Big time lawyer. Playboy. He's your lover. Me watched. It's routine surveillance. I told you I was working on a big top secret thing and they put cameras by the house. Oh, oh Quinn is not my lover. He's my lawyer. I think that we need to live apart for a while. Here. This is Quinn's card. He's going to be in touch and I'm going to go to Cleveland, open up the house, and then I'm going to be back for my girls. Jane, Jane. Just listen to me for a second, okay? I'm sorry. Paul. Jane, don't, don't do this. Oh, we need some breathing room. Please. Let me go. Admiral Davis to see you. He says it's urgent. Come on in, Troy. I'd like to talk to you in private, if you don't mind. Well, I'm sure it's nothing Luke can't hear. I've known you ever since you were a rookie congressman. Couldn't even get a job on a stray dog commission. You've been drinking, Troy. And I've known all these years about your little bad habit, a little itch behind your fly. Just a damn minute. You know, I'm a simple man. I've got a simple credo. One life, one wife. And I try real hard not to judge my fellow man and his weakness until it starts endangering people that I care about. What the hell are you talking about? Somebody's leaking information to the Israelis about Beersheba. What? Who? Kate Michaels. Now, just... Shut up! Now, either you've been saying things you shouldn't say, or she's been reading your mail. One way or another, she's been shipping hot flashes to the Israelis all week long. Uh, you, you can't prove that. You better hope to God I'm never called to testify. What, are you accusing Kate of espionage? No, sir, I'm not accusing anybody of anything right now. You put it this way. As long as you hold this sacred office, that Kate Michaels woman is persona non grata. You get it? Oh, God. You see, that way Mr. Hood can go on about his business. And just maybe we can pretend this never happened. Have we got a deal, sir? Deal. Good. That folder that Mr. Hood brought over? Toss it. There weren't never any threat to Beersheba. Good morning, Lou. Why, 
Why, that big-footed son of a... He set us up. He set us both up. Mr. President, Liz Michaels on your private line. Shut up, Lou. Shut up. Sorry, Miss Michaels. The President cannot be disturbed. I'll wait. Well, the President has left word. You're to call through the press office from now on. What? Hello. Hello. Like hell, kid. Why don't you go home and get some rest? Come in in the morning. We'll talk then. can't wait. I don't belong at Op Center. You don't? Seems to me you've made an awful good start. Uh, it's not the work. It's it's Paul. personal. Enough. If you've decided to quit, there's not much I can do about it, is there? But at least, let me put you in mind. Troy, you can save your brain. No, 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 Paul. I know you had a short night and a long day, and, and, and I also know that things aren't the best between you and Janie. But see, I, I believe these things are put in our way as tests to maybe show how strong we really can be. You hear what I'm saying? Yeah. Good. Go on home. Get a whiskey, a hot shower. Have a good night's sleep. And Paul, in a couple of months, if you've decided you want to resign, you write a letter and you come in and see me and we'll talk. But man to man, son, don't be so hard on yourself. You know, if you pull this thing off, this, this nuke hunt thing, Paul, you've made your career. Now, take it easy. Get some rest. New in town? What are you doing here? Well, I heard you went to see Davis. Uh, figured you could use a cheerleader. <sighs> right now, I could use all the cheer I can get. Well, how about a bourbon and some big bad blues? You know, I'd really love to, but I, I gotta get home. Well, don't worry. I, I won't keep you out past curfew. Takes you back, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, another time, another world. <laughs> I am no Joe Turner anyway. He died. Oh, excuse me. Hello. Oh, hello. Yeah, yeah, he is. Uh, just a minute. Paul? Hello? We may have hit pay dirt. Kirchhoff called from the Israeli embassy. Says he's got to see you first thing in the morning on instructions from his government. Bingo. They're frozen out and they know it. All right. Tell them the Jefferson Memorial. No. No, no, no. Make it to Foggy Bottom Metro Station, 8 o'clock. That way no one will be listening. Roger. And look. Sorry I had to call you at this number. Told you he'd be with her. So you did. Yeah. Well, we're at Foggy Bottom Metro Station tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock. Israelis. Mm. Sounds like they're folding. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so, congratulations, Arnotta. They said you were an amateur, but you're Beersheba Gambit. <laughs> that was good. You can save the compliments. What do you want? Come, please. My country now wishes to give full cooperation. Well, when we want your help, we'll ask Including for it. Including the sure name you... of Stolipin's paymaster, Abdul Fazawi. Oh. You recognize the name? Yeah, renegade arms trader recruited by Mossad in, in 83. He's your man? We train many Arabs. 
Unfortunately, this one happened to make friends with Stolypin in Beirut. Murder gangs, worse than Hamas and Hezbollah. Uh, don't be so judgmental, Miss Bluestone. Your enemies are merely ideological. Ours are fanatical. Well, if he's so dangerous, why haven't you taken him down? Mr. Fazawi travels under many names, many passports. We're a small country, Mr. Hood. We do not enjoy your vast intelligence resources. So Fazawi could be anywhere in the world. Or he could be under your nose. You won the first round. Don't underestimate us. It's not polite. Shalom. Hey, heard from Martha? She's in, prepping the briefing. Well, Israelis throwing a towel. Doing more than that. Abdul Fazawi. No kidding. It's funny. What's funny? Oh, how the Israelis could turn over a guy like this. He knows too much. Huh? Obviously, they want to be behind bars real bad. You can bank on that. Even if we recapture the nukes, Fazawi will be out there, find another KGB platoon that wants to make a quick buck and doesn't care who gets hurt. So, either we get him now, or eventually he gets us. Yeah. Yeah. Director, General Rogers and Captain Rodriguez are ready to brief you. Alpha will enter the Aegean at 5 a.m. tomorrow morning, local time. According to her manifest, next port of call is Mombasa, which means she'll be steering east of Crete for Suez. How much time does that give us? At present course and speed, 36 hours. Well, why don't we just take her down in the Aegean? What kind of assets we need can't operate in shallow water. Captain. At 0930 this morning, the carrier Eisenhower launched an E2C Hawkeye to track Alpha. Then she set sail with the cruiser Gettysburg and their battle group for sent men. Gettysburg will run the show. Bounce us back a real-time radar feed of the op. What time do you head out? Midnight on a C-141 out of Andrews. We'll tank in flight over the Azores in the morning and put down at NAS, Saginaw, Sicily, approximately 11 a.m. your time. And yeah, that's dusk in the central med. A couple of C-2s will ferry us over to Ike. And just after midnight local time, Ike will launch two Seahawks for recon and support. At 0130, we lift off and orbit 30 miles from Alpha till exactly 2 a.m. Then we hit the freighter, neutralize resistance, yank the warheads out. Why 2 a.m.? Watch changes board ship at midnight and 4 a.m. Two is halfway through. Midwatch shouldn't be more than half dozen crew awake. Captain, can your troops get control of Alpha before she sends a mayday? You worried that Stolipin will warn Fazawi? Yeah. What we're dealing with here is a kind of hostage situation. The Hawks have the warheads and probably have the ship booby-trapped so they can scuttle her if they're boarded. I need to go course. That's any third course, Mr. Suez. We need you, not Suez. Benghazi. <laughs> Remember how Berkoff said Fazawi might be right under our nose? Ran the Israelis' list of Fazawi's forged passports through U.S. Customs. Resources? Mm -hmm. Somebody came through JFK on one of them two days ago. Then Fazawi's in New York. I don't know that. Even if it is Fazawi, he could be in Vegas. You know? A lot easier for him to disappear in New York than Las Vegas. Something else. Fazawi's got a thing for Oriental women in multiples. Known to patronize a New York joint. Lee Tang's. Yeah. Over near the U.N. Caters to a lot of diplomats. Most of the girls are right off the boat. Prostitutes? Oh, yeah. And law enforcement just looks the other way? Over the years, we've used Lee Tang's girls to uh, compromise foreign diplomats. Who are we working for here? The United States government or the mafia? So, Lee Tang is an asset? Resource. And a trade is called a honey trap. Paul, exploiting human weakness is what we do. All right, lighten up, huh? Don't know for sure if he's always in New York. Anyone would know it's Lee Tang. All right, we'll find out and then we'll talk to him. Something's happened. What? What happened? Alpha target just turned west. West? She's not heading for Suez. On course for Benghazi. Might have guessed. Libya. It tightens up our window a lot. There's 300 miles of open ocean between Crete and Libya. The Libyan Air Force flies reconnaissance out of Benghazi every day. Now, at present course and speed, Alpha should be here about midwatch tomorrow night. Outside Libyan patrol zone. The provided linebacker hits at exactly 2 a.m. What if they're late? We miss her. Hey, 
Hey, Mac, Brent. Brent, you're on the speaker. All your boys in town. Already dropped in to sample the town at Lee Tanks. Any idea where he's holed up? No, she's got his pager number, that's it. May have a shot. How do we play it? Honey trap. Got to. Lee Tank told him she's got a shipment of new merchandise coming in. And your boy laid a grand on her to be the welcome wagon. All right. Uh, have her leave a message on his pager to come by her place at 7 sharp tomorrow night. Uh, also have her say that if he's late, deal's off. Grant, you got that? Yeah, 7 tomorrow night. Done. Well, what is it? What do people say? Uh, so far, it's only rumors. Uh, something about the KGB, nuclear warheads, and a ship. Now, no one has put it together yet, loud. but we've got to take a stand. How the hell are we supposed to try? We got problems. Well, it looks that Kate Michaels has got the rumor mill in a frenzy. The Washington well, Post. President, had... Please, calm down. Well, it's easy for you to say. You don't have a monthly press conference tomorrow. I get asked one question about Dara's Naya. The whole story blows worldwide. Well, now, you got nothing to worry about. Come noon tomorrow, you'll either be bragging about how we recovered those RVs, or what? Or you'll be trying to explain how you took the country to war. So now we got three problems. The nukes, Fazawi, and the president's press conference. Put Liz on, Paul. She'll know what to do. All right, consider it done. Linebacker landed at Sigonella, Sicily. Transferred to C2s for the hop dive. Good. FBI, New York? Lee Tang sent the page. FBI techs are rigging a shot for the takedown, assuming Fazawi shows. All right. I want you and Bluestone on the next shuttle to New York. Me? It's your trap, honey. Keep us wired in. I don't want a linebacker to jump until Fazawi's in custody. Gather around, everybody. Gather around. Let's go. OK, off the phone. Come on. All right, uh, Daly and Lane will be on one side of the shop. Wang there will be on the other side. Barry, K behind the door to the second floor. I'll be with you. Yo, Brent. My bus. Want to look, see? Now's the time. OK. Then. Leo, hand to the left. OK, now up. OK, that's a lot. All right, let me see what patient too. Bob, you read the interior of the shop? Five by five. Here's the street. Perfect. We can watch the takedown on live TV. And the moment for Zowie's in custody. Linebacker gets alpha. OK, Mac, over and out till 6.30. E2C's got a good track. Papa's been on a beeline for Benghazi since she turned west of Crete. Good chopper, sir. Watch a step. You heard a weather report? Signal from Gettysburg. Seahawks airborne, beginning reconnaissance. 5.30. Right on time. Gag, it better work or we're eating our last supper. You got the pork lo mein? Am I a pork lo mein kind of guy? Get out of here, Lowell. Here, seven o'clock, and right on time. <sighs> Maybe not. You, you do a lot of stakeouts, huh? Yeah, a few. Guess you get used to the waiting. Nope. What time is it? Ten minutes later than it was when he asked ten minutes ago. 
Sure wouldn't want to be on one of those choppers waiting for the phone to ring. Somebody better pull the trigger. Those birds are going to be flying into a watch change. They do. It'll be ugly. Seven thirty and then some. Rogers, give me bluestone. It's Washington for you. Anything? Nothing. How's things down there? Stressed out. Call you back. Wait, one. Oh, that's him. That's him. All right, turn the linebacker loose. Sergeant King signaled to 6th Fleet Op Center to get his bird executed. Yes, sir. Captain, message from Fleet. Execute. Very well. Release the choppers. Aye, aye, sir. We have a signal from Gettysburg. Execute. OK, people, we're going in. Paul. Paul, another customer just walked into the shop. We're committed. Just hold tight. Zoom in on this guy. Wait a minute, that's that Aircraft. FBI, you're under arrest. Hold it! He's got a gun. Mac, look out! Mac! Rap! Son of a bitch, they used us to flush for Zowie so they could kill him. I should have known they wouldn't just hand him over like that. You gotta locate the booby trap charges before the crew can scuttle Alpha. Mess room, one hawk down.
have been spotted. Well, Captain. So this time you're not late. Hold him here. Shooting stop. Linebacker off the air. SHF relay radio's gone dead. FBI just called. New York News Radio's reporting two gunmen shot dead in a robbery at an East Side antique shop. McCaskey? Down at St. Luke's. He's gonna make it. Yes. <laughs> Signal from Gettysburg. Warhead secure. Scuttle charge diffused. Mopping up. Casualties? Four wounded, including Captain Rodriguez. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. I have a brief statement, and then the Russian and Israeli ambassadors will answer your questions. Yesterday, certain irresponsible members of the press circulated unfounded reports about stolen Russian nuclear warheads. In fact, in anticipation of such a remote contingency, the governments of the United States, the Russian Federation, and the State of Israel have been conducting joint operations, including the simulated theft, transportation of dummy warheads, and a joint naval operation 
Spare me. Mm. How the hell did you get the Israelis and Russians to show up for that? Oh, I appeal to their sense of national interest. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, blackmail. Well, I'm proud of you, son. You pulled that hat trick off. The op center's yours as long as you want it. Director, if you've got 10 minutes, the Washington Post would like a quick interview. Go on. You like getting your picture in a paper. Enjoy yourself. Uh, tell the Washington Post thanks, but no thanks. girls to the Andersons for a slumber party. How about making up for less time? 